Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at creating a jQuery plugin, but a plugin that we can actually go ahead and pass parameters to, different parameters. So I'm going to go ahead and create, first of all, a simple plugin that allows us to change uh, the background color of a particular element, and it will allow us to pass a a variable with this. Now obviously the actual idea of a plugin that you know can change the background is quite pointless uh, but in this case we're just going to be looking at the concept of actually passing uh, variables to functions. So let's take a look at what we've included on the page uh, before we start. We've obviously got jQuery, I've got this file called plugin.js which is where I'm going to be writing my plugin and then I've got ext.js where I'm going, going to be actually making use of my plugin, so calling my plugin. So I'm going to go ahead and create a p element on the page. And I'm just going to write just a paragraph inside. And when we refresh, we can see that we've just got just a paragraph. So at the moment, this is obviously just a paragraph. In actual fact, I'll go and change these to strong tags uh, just so. It's a bit easier to see. So we've got just a paragraph here, and what we want to do is we want to create a plugin which allows us to highlight the background of this here with any color we wish. So we're going to be able to pass a particular color to this uh, strong tag or any select that we use. Now, obviously, inside say ext.js, we could go ahead uh, and make sure the document is ready, and then we could create a function inside here. And we could say, uh, normally what we would do is strong.css background color. And then we can provide a background color, for example, yellow. Uh, and we'll achieve this effect here. However, what we want our plugin to do is we want our plugin to be called something like highlight. And then we want to supply a color in here, like yellow and we want that to do the same thing oh in actual fact no we don't want it to do that we want it to be color yellow like that that's what we want to happen and then what we can do is we can give it multiple um, values as well for example if we wanted to change the size of it uh, we could go ahead and specify the size as well you know like we, we're, we're essentially learning how to use settings inside plugins so let's go ahead and get rid of that for now. We want to go ahead and start developing our plugin uh, that's going to take use of uh, or make use of what I've already said. So let's go ahead and first of all outline our plugin. This is just function and then inside a dollar sign. Uh, and then what we're doing is we are opening up into uh, curly brackets. At the end of here, we want to go ahead and write jQuery. So this is the standard and correct notation for outlining a plugin. Uh, now let's go ahead and give the plugin a name. So I'm going to say dollar sign dot fn, and then I'm going to give my function a name or my plugin a name, and I'm going to call that highlight. So that is equal to a function, and then inside of here is our plugin code. Okay. So this is the standard notation for a plugin. Uh, obviously, I've already in the previous tutorial talked about uh, plugins in jQuery but uh, we're doing exactly the same thing again but this time we're going to set up some uh, allowed settings we're first of all going to do the color one uh, and then we're going to say change and have a setting called size or something you know so okay um, we're going to create a variable called settings uh, and let's just bring this all down a bit so it's easier to see and this is going to be an array so the array is going to contain um, like color and then I'm going to say null so essentially what I've done is I've, I've created a set of settings uh, if you wanted to do say more settings you could come down uh, here and just bring this in uh, and you could go ahead and say size null now what I always do is I always set these to null uh, first of all uh, and then obviously they'll be defined when we actually uh, use the plugin here so they'll change so I always define them as null uh, just you know so I think it just looks better and it's and it's easier to work out you know that you're just setting a, a, um, an array with settings rather than you know choosing default values however if you did want to go ahead and put default values into here uh, you can and then if they're not specified by the plugin as the user calls the plugin uh, they'll just revert to the original settings but for now I've kept it as null 
just because uh, you know I want to keep it I want I want the user to actually provide me with a color so the next thing we want to do is go ahead and merge uh, settings with with that of we pass through to the plugin and we need to pass them as options so we pass them as options but we want to merge it with settings uh, so these can take effect and we can actually grab the values